I'm making mistakes all the time. How to learn from your mistakes. That would be some helpful knowledge, right? Mistakes. Miss takes. We're filming today, if you didn't notice, here at Live On Purpose TV. And sometimes we have takes, and sometimes we have mistakes, where I do something dumb, or Nate forgets to get the equipment set up right, or some truck drives by and it just doesn't work. How many times do we have mistakes? What if we were to redefine mistakes? Another word we might consider is failures, right? That one feels even more foreboding. It's like, oh, what if I fail, right? Did you know that the fear of failure is something that causes people to not even venture, to not even try something because they're afraid they're going to fail? I have a little secret theory that maybe people are more afraid of success than they are of failure because we've already experienced Failure, we know we can deal with that, but success, mm, we're not quite so sure. That might be the topic of another video. Let's look at mistakes and failure a little differently. Some of my favorite authors have written material that might give us some insight here. Robert Kiyosaki, for example, he's the all-time best-selling author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, which has been on the New York Times bestseller list forever. And Robert Kiyosaki said, if you really want to succeed, start failing faster. Interesting. John Maxwell, legendary leadership speaker and author, he, he wrote a book titled Failing Forward. Interesting concept. One of my good buddies. Brett Harward wrote a book called The Five Laws That Determine All of Life's Outcomes. One of those five laws is the law of frequency, meaning frequency of attempts because there has to be a number of failures for every success. I've been podcasting now, Live On Purpose Radio. I've, I just hit my 10 year anniversary at the time of this particular filming. And through that entire decade of interviewing successful people and authors and speakers and these inspiring people that we all admire, there is a common theme that runs through all of them. And it has to do with exactly this issue. You get comfortable with failure because that is part of the recipe for success. As we look at our own mistakes, and we're gonna have some, right? Let me clarify. As long as you're playing the game, you're gonna have some mistakes, okay? I think the only other alternative is to quit playing, and that's probably not good news. If you're making mistakes, it probably means you're alive and you're playing the game. So that's great because the alternative is that you're dead and not playing the game. We're all going to make mistakes as we reframe those as part of the success formula. It suddenly feels different and it's a little easier to accept. So step one is to redefine mistakes and failure. Put it into that success formula and then we can move to step two. Now I already gave you a little heads up to step two and it has to do with the fear that we experience around mistakes or failure. Fear is centered on the same fundamental belief and that belief is, I can't handle it. Now that usually comes up when our mind asks a what if question. What if I fail? Oh, I can't handle that. Do You see how those go together? And if you believe that you can't handle it, it triggers the natural fight or flight defensive mechanism in your brain, and then you will avoid whatever it is that you think you can't handle. So here's the step two. Answer that what if question and answer it differently. Remember, your mind is already telling you you can't handle it. So the opposite of that is, yes, you can handle it. What is it that you're afraid might happen? And then get to that answer that, you know what? I actually could handle that. So what if, I, what if I fail that test? What if I fail that interview? What if I fail that venture? Okay, I could handle that. Now it doesn't mean that it would be fun because usually you're going into a business venture, for example, and you're thinking, oh my gosh, most new business ventures fail. 
What if I fail? Oh, I couldn't handle that. So what do you do? You take yourself out of the mix. Another author that I interviewed was Rich Christensen, the author of The Zigzag Principle. And he pointed out, he had been involved at the time in I think 30 different startups, either as an owner or a co-owner of these startups. About a third of those were wonderful successes. He made a lot of money and made a lot of people happy. About a third were break even kind of, you know, zero sum game. The other third, crash and burn failures. And Rich told me when I interviewed him, he learned more from the failures than he did from anything else. So let's let that move us into step three. We're gonna answer the what ifs in, in step two. Get to the answer that you could handle the failure because truth is you could. We'll talk more about that in another video. Get to number three next. This one's easy. Do more of what works and less of what doesn't. And notice with gratitude in your own heart that the only reason you know what works and what doesn't is because of your mistakes. Have some gratitude there for the mistakes that you've made. They are so valuable to you in your learning process and you're not done yet. There's a little physiological test you can do. Whip out your wrist, put two fingers right there below your thumb. See if you feel a little bump, bump, bump. If you do, you're not done yet. You get another shot at this. Follow the law of frequency like Brett Harward said. Get to your next attempt as soon as you can. What if you knew you had to have five failures before you get your one success? How soon do you want the next failure? Do you see what we're talking about? Accept it as part of the formula. Wash, rinse, and repeat. Do more of what works and less of what doesn't. Mistakes, they're there for us and we can learn from them. I make a lot of mistakes. You probably make mistakes too, we all do. Would you be so kind as to share what you've learned from one of your mistakes right down there in the comments? I'll promise to respond.